Hello friends, today I will explain you how to read a ceramic data set of value. How to read ceramic data set of values? Let's take an example. Assume that we have an capacitor of ceramic capacitor on which the value is written as 102k. What exactly these four digits stands for? The first digit indicates a first significant digit, second is second significant digit, third digit very importantly which indicates the multiplier and finally the, the fourth digit indicates the tolerance value. We will try to understand this how exactly the multiplier as well as tolerance is added with the uh, first and second significant digits. How to read ceramic capacitor with multiplier table? We have a capacitor value of 102k. We also have a multiplier table. The multiplier digits varies from 0 to 6 number and which is indicate which indicates the number of zeros which we have to append after the first and second significant digits. In the example we can see that the capacitor 104 how we have to append the multiplier digit. In capacitor 104 we have to write the first and second digit as it is and the third digit is indicated as multiplier value and 4 indicates we have to append 4 zeros after two or after first and second significant digits and that turns out to be a 1 lakh picofarad that means 104 means 104 means it is 10 1 lakh picofarad now we we'll try to understand how different capacitor values are measured and calculated with the help of tolerance table as well as multiplier table. How to read ceramic capacitor value with the help of multiplier table? Before that, we should know what exactly 1 picofarad stands for. 1 picofarad stands for 10 to the power of minus 12 farads. 1 microfarad stands for 10 to the power of minus 6 farads. This is multiplier table. Let's try to understand how we calculate different ceramic capacitor values. If the capacitor value has one double zero, that means we have to write first two digit as it is. And if it is zero, we should not append any zeros. That turns out to be 10 picofarad. When we convert this 10 picofarad into microfarad, that turns out to be this value. Whereas, if 101 is written on the ceramic capacitor value, we have to write first two digit as it is and we have to append only 10 which is shown in the multiplier table and that turns out to be 100 picofarad. When we convert into 100 picofarad into macro microfarad, that turns out to be 0 0.001 microfarad. In 102, the same way, 10 we have to append two zeros that becomes 1000 picofarad and in terms of microfarad that becomes 0 0.001 microfarad. If the capacitor value has as 103, then we have to consider the first two digit 10 and then append three zeros with the help of this multiplier table and that becomes 10,000 picofarad. If we convert this 10,000 picofarad into microfarad, that turns out to be 0 0.01 microfarad. If 104 is written on the ceramic capacitor, that indicates 10 and we have to append 4 more zeros with the 2 previous digits, that becomes 0 0.01 microfarad. In this way, we calculate the different ceramic capacitor values with number of digits that converting into picofarad or microfarad. Now we will try to understand how the tolerance value is used while calculating the ceramic value, ceramic capacitor value. We have capacitor value as 102 here. The last digit indicates the tolerance value. 
we'll try to understand what this last digit and its alphabet's value indicates. We have tolerance table. Here K indicates the 10% tolerance. Assume that I have calculated the capacitor value 102 that becomes 1000 picofarad. If here D present at fourth digit, that becomes 0.5% tolerance on 1000 picofarad. If it is F, that becomes 1% tolerance. If it is G, that becomes 2% tolerance. And if it is H, that becomes 3% tolerance. And if it is K, that becomes 10% tolerance. Finally, if it is M, that becomes 20% tolerance on the 1000 picofarad capacitor value. In this way, we calculate the different ceramic capacitor values. Thank you.